name is Martha Burtis, and I am the director of the Digital Knowledge Center. So the original planning for the Convergence Center started way back, I would say in November or December of 2007. And at that time, I was director of teaching and learning technologies. Mm -hmm. And so when the first planning committee was put together by our CIO at the time, Chip German, um, I was asked to sit on that committee um, and served on that for about six or seven months until I, I actually went on maternity leave and then came back part time. So when I came back part time, somebody else had taken on that role for the division. But I was there from the very beginning mm -hmm. for the first I don't know, three or four meetings that we had that late fall into spring to try and wrap our heads around what this building was going to be. Okay. I don't know. I, I love all of the facilities that the building has. I love this room. Mm -hmm. um, I love the, the media lab and the media wall um, and the various spaces. But I guess if I were to say what I love most about the building, it's something bigger than that, which is that I feel like after sort of years of the university doing some really innovative work with digital technology in the classroom, this building became sort of the physical instantiation of that. So, so much of the work that we had been doing was happening all over campus or in virtual spaces. Mm -hmm. And now there's this building that people really associate with that work and where we can explore media and, um, and see students really inhabit that space kind of physically. And mm -hmm. to me, that's really exciting. It must be cool to see the end product when you it's were amazing. there from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. That's a great question. <laughs> and I, I have no idea. There's mm -hmm. obviously like very specific practical considerations to that, just down to how do we um, monetarily, how do we budget to maintain all of the equipment and how do we anticipate um, where things will go with technology and how the building um, adapts to that. I will tell you that all through the planning process, that idea of, of creating a space that could be adaptive was definitely in the forefront of our minds. Mm -hmm. um, that's a tricky thing to do as pencil goes to paper or digital yeah. <laughs> ink goes to file. <laughs> Um, and things actually start getting um, solidified in terms of planning and architecture and design. But I think we always try to keep that in mind. And so even something like the fact that we have the raised floors in parts of the building that allow us to, in the future, maybe flexibly reconfigure the way wires are run in the building. All of that was um, sort of with the idea that we needed a building that could grow with us. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know where it will go, but I hope that our students will help us find that direction through yeah. their use of the space. So that's something I am really proud of because um, I've, I've really, it's been important to me that we communicate to our, our campus community as clearly as possible what's, what this space is about. So obviously there are academic spaces in this building. We have three scheduled classrooms. Um, that are heavily scheduled now that the building is up and running. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, and that's great because that kind of breathes life into the building, that there are classes and faculty and students um, moving around in the space and using the space. We also have other kinds of gathering spaces. So there are conference rooms that also are very heavily used by constituents who are around campus for meetings and gatherings, workshops. Um, we have some smaller uh, collaboration spaces, which are really there for our students. Some of them are glassed in, some are more open, mm -hmm. places for them to meet and group around computers to work together. Um, and then we have the digital auditorium on the first floor, which is a really large um, multi-purpose room. I think a really beautiful space too, which is nice. Yeah. It has a lot of character to it. And it's been incredible to see since that opened last spring, all the different mm -hmm. kinds of events and. Um, and groups that have been using it and thinking about ways that that space can be meaningful for them. So there's all that kind of um, space that, um, that people have been inhabiting um, since the building opened. But then in addition, we have particular services. Um, so we have, I can hear a hear <laughs> um, We have particular services that, um, that are available in the building. So at the information desk, which is really kind of the grand central of the Convergence Center. We have equipment that can be checked out, um, which is something that we're really, really happy to finally be able to provide that as a service for students. Um, 
as like, as much um, digital media equipment as possible, mm -hmm. but also game systems and um, equipment to be used in this lab or in this studio. Um, so there's that aspect of it. And then we have a number of um, sort of support services that are in the building. Um, the building is linked to the library, so the library has a presence here and students can get library support at the library desk. And then on the fourth floor, writing and speaking centers are co-located, which is great because it's one place where students can go for both of those. And then my new center, the Digital Knowledge Center, provides support for students on digital assignments and projects. And that is brand new, it opened when the building opened. Um, so it's really, in my mind, it's there as sort of a foundational piece to help people use this building yeah. too. So we, we tutor on using this studio and on using the software in the lab um, so that students don't feel like we've just kind of unleashed this huge building with mm -hmm. lots of resources. Um, but without any um, assistance to kind of help right. them get up and running. So, I mean, other than um, after, I guess it was seven years from planning to opening of the building, um, we, we had this vision of what we thought the building would be. And um, it's really been very rewarding to see our students at Mary Washington take to the building mm -hmm. um, we weren't sure like we had an idea right. that this was something people would like and need and use um, and kind of relish but you don't know because it's so different from right. any other building on campus you really don't know until it opens how that's going to play mm -hmm. out so from day one um, seeing students in here um, seeing them make sense of the space for us has really really been um, rewarding but also interesting and instructive and I hope that students at Mary Washington continue to think of this building as a space for themselves and work with us to imagine where we go in the future.